this is Chiranjeevi. In this video, I'm going to give uh, 10 key points to crack CSIR net. I hope these points will help you to get uh, CSIR and to succeed in CSIR. Okay, so the first key point in my view is uh, we need to know the complete syllabus of the CSIR net. So we have organic and inorganic and physical. In that uh, three, if you are uh, familiar with organic and uh, go hard for it, uh, okay, right, like that. So choose uh, because uh, organic and inorganic and physical these three have equal proportion of marks or weightage in uh, CSIR net. So no need to panic. So you need to go for familiar topics very hard um, to do problems and then go for the hard topics. Okay next and second one is you need to follow limited standard groups standard books okay don't go for many books and many references because they confuse you when you are doing problems okay and uh, buy one or two or three uh, standard books on each or one or two standard books on each top each uh, organic and organic and physical and uh, refer more times then go for the exam and third one is target 35 to 40 questions in exam okay so don't go for more problems they because we have negative marking in uh, our exam hence so just go for 35 to hardly 35 to 40 questions you need to be accurate 95 to 100 percent in that uh, doing 35 to 40 questions okay if you do if you do 24 marks questions and uh, 22 marks questions right and uh, in this 20 marks you need to be accurate at at least 95 percent and here is 95 percent or 90 percent then so from that if you get 18 uh, correct answers and if you get uh, 18 or 17 correct marks then what will be the score 18 into 4 so we have uh, 72 marks here sorry here is 2 and 32 marks here so totally we get 1 or 4 marks so this is a good score in CSIR so we have the chances to get CSIR okay right so that's why we need to do hardly 35 to 40 questions uh, and in that we should be 95% accurate okay so right next don't panic if you get a hard questions with starting so when you start the doing problems in the exam so if you observe any hard questions which are unknown to you so no problem because we have plenty of choices uh, in the each part a b c so no problem so go for go for it and you can get and uh, and if you if you panic and there is a problem to uh, you to not uh, to not to do easy questions too because you will get tension and that makes you to um, do uh, problem uh, wrong things in the exam okay right next check the question paper three times at first at, uh, at the first time when you are going to do the problems uh, do the problems which are known uh, that means if you know 100% if it is right then give an answer for it in the first check of the question paper and do like that and if you do at least 10 questions or 15 questions throughout the paper at first attempt and go for the next if you have 95% known that means uh, there is a, a bit of um, confusing the answers and go for go in the next second attempt and do the that problems and the next in third check and you go for the 90% accurate uh, problems known which are known to you go for it and by doing these three checkups and you may get 35 to 40 questions and which are enough to get CSIR next uh, sixth key point is if a problem if a problem looks uh, like very easy don't give answer blindly because there must be a logic so and this is the major uh, point so I'm doing wrong here so in my exam so this is the biggest weakness for me 
so I'm doing uh, this by by looking at the problem and just I'm giving the answer for it because it looks like very easy and after getting the answer sheet so uh, key after getting the answer key so I'm getting wrong like uh, many of the like this questions okay so don't do that mistake okay right and next if your problem looks very difficult don't fear to check it if you check those problems simply logical simple logic will appear in that problem yeah i did many uh lie on this like these questions many of this so i just uh, left them because they looks like very hard to do but when i was uh, looking at these problems at home uh, when I'm doing, uh, when I'm doing, when I'm solving those problems, they have very simple logics. So these, they are. So don't do, don't fear when you look at hard questions, hard problems, because they are very, very simple. Just uh, check them once. Right. Next, don't solve a problem. Don't do a problem without giving complete mechanism for it. So this is another weakness for me. So I'm doing a problem by checking the reactants and reagents and just giving the answer. So don't do that because there will be more uh, similar answers or more similar options. So by doing complete mechanism only, you will get the um, correct answer for it. So this is another weakness for me. Uh, so to cast my answers and cast my CSIR. And next, ninth one is must need to check four options because a minor mistakes can cast you marks because many problems have related options. Yeah. So so you need to check the four options if you know the correct answer then please check the four options is there any any other related options are there in the given problem because the the one which is correct uh, which may be correct for you but uh, there is a logic is there there may be a logic and that may not be your answer okay right and take care when you're doing bubbling so bubbling when you doing bubbling so is there any mistakes in bubbling you are going to last your marks okay so so if you observe all these points you are uh, you will get success in csir yes i can say that here so my uh, weakness are also given for you don't do these mistakes so these are the major mistakes one can do in the examination hall uh, that uh, these mistakes can cast you your uh, dream okay i hope this will help you uh, to get csir and i hope um, i'm going to uh, uh, crack my csir uh, this june 17 uh, june 18 17 by resolving my weaknesses thank you and all the best for you and uh, wish me too. Thank you, guys.